Well, Canada's inflation rate inched up last month, so let's get a breakdown of the numbers and the bigger economic picture with CTV Nationals, Colton Trail in Ottawa. Hey, Colton, good to see you. So the Canadian dollar edged up a bit yesterday, but experts suggest a downward trend will continue. Why and what's the impact here for Canadians? Yeah, some real concern over the Canadian dollar right now. Thoughts that it could even potentially breach 70 cents USD. Right now, it's just above 71.4. Uh, the big concern here, and the reason we're seeing such a big difference between the Canadian dollar and the American dollar, really is the difference in interest rates. We saw the news on Friday uh, that the U.S. may not move ahead with a rate cut in December. That was kind of a catalyst for the fall that we saw on Friday in the weekend. As you mentioned, things back a little bit today, but we're not expecting to really see uh, major shifts here because the economic policy differences between Canada and the states. If you think about it as a, as a business or as an investor, you're much more likely to spend your money where you're going to make the most back on interest. And so the U.S. interest rate is a little bit higher. It's going to draw investors over there. It's good news for Canadian exporters. They're likely going to have a little bit of a boost in business. But if you're importing from the states, if you're somebody who does a lot of shopping in the states, obviously this isn't what you want to see. It's unlikely, though, that we're going to see uh, the Canadian interest rate go back up or get closer towards where the American rate is at because of the amount of mortgage renewals in our country. It's something that is keeping uh, the inflation rate or excuse me, the interest rate in Canada uh, relatively steady. It's, it's even leading to talks of a potential uh, 50 basis point cut in December. Uh, there are so many mortgage renewals happening over the next three years, about two thirds of Canadians. We're talking billions of dollars of mortgages. Uh, the idea is to keep that rate as low as possible so that people still have money to spend after housing costs on things that will fuel the economy and keep uh, our, our economy running. Yeah, and then of course there are the inflation numbers, Colton. Now, what do these numbers kind of tell us? Yeah, right on track. 2% this uh, last month, that's compared to 1.6% in September. Uh, but September, you have to keep a couple of things in mind there. Obviously, gas prices were incredibly low. If you look at October of 2023, gas prices were incredibly low there as well. So if you take gas out of it, inflation's at 2.2% for last month. That's the same as it was in September and August. This is right in the Bank of Canada's target range. Really, this is this is continuing a trend that we've seen for the past several months now. Uh, a couple points to highlight. Obviously, shelter and food are the two areas that people are always paying attention to, both of which still going up, but the rate at which they're increasing is slowing on shelter. Food prices, beef is getting cheaper, but fruit and vegetables keeping prices high. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is CTV's Colton Prale joining us live this morning with the breakdown of that. Thanks so much, Colton.